The movie begins with an introduction to each of its main characters while they were having a mission to complete. One of each of them has their own task. Bill acted as security guard who had to take a guest VIP access card, then he would give that card to his sibling named Crater, who would switch the personal data on the card to his partner Data, named Lion. Lion then would disguise himself as a pianist for this event. This mission was led by their boss, called Rick Rice who warned them to not make a single mistake for this mission. The goal of this mission was to save a man named Marvin from some people who wanted to harm him. Marvin was an entrepreneur of big pharmaceuticals that had great influence in the world. When Marvin was ready to give his presentation to launch the newest drug, suddenly a globe ornament that was hung above the stage fell down and made a great chaos in that event. All the audiences tried to save themselves afraid of the attack that they thought was a bomb attack. Bill, the security guard, then tried to save Marvin and brought him outside the building, but suddenly one of Marvin's men betrayed him and fired a shot at him. Marvin died and the mission failed. Rice was so mad about their failure and decided to fire Bill, but their bond of brotherhood was so tight, when one of them got fired, they decided to quit the agency altogether. Shortly after that they parted ways and continued to live their lives. Five years have passed and Lion now has a girlfriend, called Dr. Zoe who was working as a volunteer doctor in a refugee camp in Africa. One day Lion came to the refugee camp to give her a medicine that she ordered from him, but it turned out all the medicines he brought were going to expire the next month. Those medicines were so rare and really hard to find. To help his girlfriend get the medicines, Lion then decided to obtain another batch of those medicines and asked his brothers to join him to heist those medicines from the local government storehouse. We moved to the day where the five brothers had a reunion to discuss their plan to steal the rare medicine they need to help the refugees. It turned out their former agency was the one who was responsible for the supply of these drugs together with the government intelligence agency. All of them agreed to help Lion, so he could marry Dr. Zoe soon after they got the medicines. Their mentor named Kim, but they used to call him Papa, also came to the reunion along with his daughter Lulu. Papa was the one who saved the siblings a long time ago and since become the one they rely on too. The next day, the team was ready with the mission. A man called Captor was responsible for the transfer process of the medicines in Budapest. He was on the chopper, eyeing all the process. We're back to the lion's side. He assigned Bill to disguise himself as a garbage worker. Bill would drive the car with some of the waste drums, filled with a lot of soap, on the back of the car, and intentionally would drop all the wasted drums on the road, so the road will be filled with slippery foams. By doing so, the car that brought the medicines would change his route to the other route they prepared earlier as the plan they made. The medicine truck would enter a tunnel. Papa was the one who was in charge of blocking all other cars from entering the tunnel. The security agency staff knew that their radio communication and GPS would be temporarily inactive while in the tunnel, so this was a right place for the team to exchange the car that brought the medicine with the other car as a distraction. The team successfully exchanged the cars, then drove the car to their home base. At their home base they were so startled when they saw that there were so many gold bars inside the car instead of the medicines. Bill was so mad when they opened the car, he said they shouldn't have to do so. The fight of argument was happening between them, Lion told them the mission was to steal the medicines not the gold. But Bill said he was the one who messed with the mission, he knew that the car was filled with the gold bars instead of the medicine, and told them that he was hired by Rice's agency. Those gold would be sent to a country as a fund for a coup of a certain political party. The fight between them is inevitable when they find out it was Bill who killed Marvin at their first mission. Shortly after that, Rice's men arrived at their home base, and Bill admitted that he worked with Rice's agency to heist the golds and he would later hand over all the gold to the agency and then kill all his brothers. A gunfight broke out between them and unexpectedly a shot hit Papa, both Lion and Crater tried to stop the gunfight and some other tried to escape from the storehouse. All the team members managed to escape the gunfight safely. In the middle of the way, Lion told Crater to calm himself down as he was so mad at Bill for what he did to them. We're back to the storehouse, where Rice and Bill were so happy when they saw all the gold bars right in front of their eyes, but Bill turned his back on him. Because of his greediness, he killed Rice and took all the gold bars for himself. <coughs> Captor then found Rice's corp at the storehouse and found out that Bill took all the gold. Back on the road, Lion and Crater were chased by a security team led by Captor, then they managed to capture Lion. When Lion was captured, he remembered the time when he was young together with his brother. Papa saved them from the prison and taught them about life. He was the one who changed their vision of life, from a no-dreams street child to a person who has determination and a goal in life. He taught them everything. 
The story resumes to each of the characters' lives after the second mission. They continued on with their lives, but Lion was in prison since. On the day of his release from the prison, Khan was there to pick him up and then take him to Crater's house, who had since lived in a slum area. Crater was waiting for Lion to be released from the prison. Khan then brought his brothers, Lion and Crater to see Papa and shortly after they had a reunion with Mouse, Lulu and Papa who had since lived together in Japan. Papa was so old then, he lived on the wheelchair because his leg was hurt from the day he got shot. Crater was regretful and asked Papa to apologize for what he did to him. He admitted that he was the one who shot the bullet. But Papa slapped him, not for hurting him, but to make him realize that was not his fault, then he asked him to not be sad about that. Later on, they had dinner together and talked about how they were doing all this time. A Japanese man, called Morimoto, came and brought a bottle of sake while they were having dinner. Morimoto was an influential figure and the friend of Papa. The next day, they attend a festival held by Morimoto. They were so happy and after the festival the brother went to hot spring water. They talked about their old days and at some point they talked about Bill who betrayed them. Lion then told them that Bill has a large amount of debt and one day Captor contacted him to find Bill so that he could have all the golds back. He then asked his brothers to find Bill and bring him back as he was their brother and all agreed to do so. They knew Bill loves cars, so they decided to attend a car exhibition hoping they would find him there. Each of them was assigned the task and came to the car exhibition. But Bill was a step ahead from them and successfully trapped his brothers. They failed to find Bill. We moved to the next scene to Papa's house. Bill unexpectedly came to visit him and his men threatened him. Bill asked Papa, why did he treat him differently? And why Papa did not listen to him but just to his other brothers? Morimoto came in the middle of their conversation and felt something wrong must have happened there by the look of Papa. Morimoto then fought all Bill's men to save Papa. At the same time, Lion realized that they've been played by Bill and he knew that Bill was after Papa. They rushed to save Papa, but it was not easy at all. Bill's men chased their car, and in the next minute of the film we are presented with a very thrilling sports car chase scene between Lion's team and Bill's men. We are back at Papa's house where the battle between Morimoto and Bill's men is still ongoing and in the end Bill shot him to death. After killing Morimoto, Papa told Bill to stop what he was doing, but one of Bill's men then fired a gun at Papa. He died. Lulu was shocked knowing that her father was shot to death. Bill then left the house and took Lulu as the hostage. Lion and his brother arrived at the house only to find Papa's body lay on the floor, in a lifeless state. They mourn his death, and this scene was so heart-wrenching to see. They held his funeral the next day. After the funeral, Mouse informed his brothers that he knew where Bill was, he kept it a secret from everyone, because Papa told him to. Bill was in Montenegro, and then all of them decided to go there to find Bill. When they had arrived at Montenegro, they had a small party to remember Papa, and then they promised each other that they would stay as brothers forever until the day they die, and even in the afterlife they would stay as brothers. To catch Bill, Lion and his brothers decided to ask Captor's help. Captor would provide them a weapon they needed and as a payback he wanted his golds back. He also informed them that Bill bought a small island and stayed there while guarded by trained and heavily armed armies. The security was so strict so they needed a well-made plan to infiltrate the island. They planned to enter the island from two sides, one side from the sea and the other side from the land, through a bridge that connected the land from the mainland. Mouse and Crater are in charge of entering the island from the sea, meanwhile Lion and Calm would enter the island through the bridge to distract the guards' attention. One by one they took down all the guards. It was an intense gunfight scene. But the number of Bill's army was too many, thankfully Crater could take them one by one using his sniper skill. Calm and Crater had successfully entered the operator room. They found Lulu and Bill's location. Feeling cornered by the arrival of his brothers, Bill ordered all his best skilled army to fight his brothers. They finally could defeat all the army.
They entered the gold room and found Bill there, he prepared himself and looked ready for his brother's arrival. Afraid that his brothers were going to kill him, Bill then went to the gold room to seek refuge. The gold room was bulletproof so Bill thought he would be safe from the gunfire. When Lion saw Bill inside the gold room, he asked him why he killed Papa, then Bill explained everything to him, but Lion felt that Bill was not sorry about what he did, so he asked his brothers to help him and decided to destroy the gold room by firing it continuously till that bulletproof glass broke. One of their gunshots made it to Bill's leg, then he fell down on the ground. When Bill couldn't fight them no more due to his hurt leg, Lion then pointed the gun at his head ready to kill him, but his other brothers told him not to, and Lion listened to them and let him live. Lion then told him that the reason why all of them are here was not to kill him, but to cut ties with him. They left him in that room, but when they turned their back and were ready to go, Bill took a chance to get the gun and aim it at Crater. Thankfully Crater could avoid it, and fired him back. We got a flashback of their story where Bill asked Crater to kill him if he took a wrong direction in his life, so this was Bill's request after all, to be killed by Crater for all his wrongdoings. Thankfully, Crater is fine from the gunshot because he was wearing a bulletproof vest. The movie ends with a scene where Lion meets his girlfriend, Dr. Zoe again somewhere, 